Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back for to finish the story and go over the last two units on the 7th Anniversary Commemorative Limited Servant Daily Pickup Banner. <laughs> and this will be the last time I'll have to say the 7th Anniversary Commemorative Limited Servant Daily Pickup Summon until next year when it's the 8th Anniversary Commemorative Limited Servant Daily Pickup Summon. But for today... We're going to be going for the last two units I should be releasing for the 7th Anniversary Commemorative Limited to release uh, Pickup Summon, which will be Summer, Abby, and Ilya, which is Caster Ilya. So that's going to be today's video. As always, as I've said for a lot of these, keep saving. Even though I think these two units, it's only for like very specific people that I would be going for Summer, Abby, and Ilya, and I know that nothing I say would stop them, but for the average person, if they want to know, let's talk about them and we shall. So we're going to start on Abby today as the video's release, Abigail. Summer Abby will be releasing along with uh, Summer um, Murasaki Shikibu. Murasaki Shikibu, I think after her buff, is still just an okay single target rider. Um, with the best thing about her being, of course, that she is Murasaki Shikibu and made by Rida, and that's the reason I have her and I occasionally use her. Though, uh, <laughs> whether or not these ascensions work for you, it all depends on who you are and what specific, I guess, things you're into. <laughs> Some of these definitely appeal to different kind of people, but anyway, let's move on. It'll be some definitely not a unit worth going for specifically. This is only if you care about Summer Abbey and... Spoiler alert, not a lot of people care about Summer Abbey, but let's go over her. Summer Abbey, she's a foreigner. Two quick, one arts, two buster with three hits on all three and then a five hit on extra. Her first skill is the Sleep Induced Roses B. Inflict a sleep status for two turns on one enemy. If you're wondering why I'm so quiet, it's because people are asleep around me, so I'm trying to keep my voice as low as possible. Similar to stun, unlike stun, this status will be removed when the target gets attacked, and then it also removes their buffs, reduces their defense from one attack, two turns when a sleep status is active. 50% uh, defense down um, for that one attack while sleep is active. And uh, let's go to the second skill. And again, this is only to a single enemy. Second skill is Midsummer Night's A, which is after the strengthening, which is the one that she should be receiving now. Uh, inflict terror status for one time, three turns to all enemies. Act chance to activate the debuff below every turn. When activated, 500% chance to stun them for one turn, which is their defense for three turns, and increase own buster performance for three turns. The activation chances up is the the chance of activating this terror is 55%. With the defense down is 20%, and the buster up is 30% on a cooldown of six. And her third skill is the one who guides A, charges on MP gauge, increases on debuff success rate by 30% for three turns, and then reduces one enemy's buster resistance for three turns, 50%, and buster resistance down 30% on a cooldown of six. And I believe that this goes with this one, so that should bring up her percentage of um, going up here, should be like what? 75%, I think, anyway? I'm not 100% sure on that. Feel free to correct me on that, but either way. Existence outside of the domain and Sanity B plus and Divinity B are B plus are her passive skills. Her third skill is an anti-Avenger attack damage aptitude. And her noble phantasm is the Dreamlands, the faraway land of dreams, anti-unit, rank A, hits three times, removes all enemy defensive buffs, and then deals damage to them. 300% uh, damage at MP level 1, and if you get her all the way to MP level 5, it's 500%, and then reduces their defense for three turns. Uh, charge level 1, it's 20%, and if you get it all the way to the final charge level, it is 40%. And that is Summer Abbey. Um, put on your Popat, girl. I prefer you in this outfit. Um, Summer Abbey is a weird unit. A lot of her kit doesn't make... I think when she first came out, a lot of the JP fanbase kind of complained about her damage and how she doesn't do enough. You can see here from this one, she was she didn't even have this, and to be honest, I'm not sure if 30% is enough to make up for um, her lack of damage. So she ends up being a unit that sometimes can fail in damage at MP1. Um, she has some nice things, like I like the charging mode. The 50, having a 50% MP charger is very nice, but then 
this reducing one enemy's buster resistance for three turns, that means that it's really only good for like that turn, and even then, it's that one enemy, and that can be a little bit awkward when you're an AoE unit. So it feels like she's weirdly designed to be in a scenario where you have to fight multiple Berserker enemies at once, and you don't mind taking one down for the fight for the time being. I think a good example of this is some of the weird like challenge quests that we occasionally get where it's like you're gonna be fighting a hundred berserkers or something and one of them has a buff that when they die they do this but then if you remove that buff then you're perfectly fine. Um, I feel like that ends up being where she would be I guess good in because she does remove all enemies debuffs which is pretty nice and this activates first. I don't know, I feel like this is definitely a unit whose entire kit feels better suited as a boss than an actual, like, unit you use on your side, if that makes sense. I have some Rabby, I actually have her at MP2, and I've always been curious to see if she's any better now, but I feel like especially with... If you have to get specifically more MP levels into Abby to make her a better unit, you, then you have to start comparing her to some of the other units that also require that, like Ark. And I think Ark is a more interesting unit with a lot more support buffs on them, so it makes her for a better unit. And this one, unfortunately, her getting sleep first made that it was just a really weird thing. But I don't know, that's how I currently feel about Summer Abby. I definitely want to try giving her another shot just because I do like Abby as a character, but at the same time... I don't know if it's enough with the buffs that she's gotten. I also do think that this is a very cute outfit and I do like her little cat. So I don't know, if you have Abby, feel free to tell me, but this is definitely a unit that is not for everyone. <laughs> and probably is just a little bad, but I would be very interested to hear if the buff actually does change her in some kind of ways and maybe I have to give her another shot. Feel free to let me know, but I think the answer is that she's just kind of one of the worst summer units in existence. And finally, we'll go on to the last unit, which is Ilya von Eisenberg who is a caster. She has one quick, three arts, five, uh, and a bust, five busters, and one buster, uh, with three, five, and one hits, with a uh, five extra hit. Uh, her th for first active skill is Tearful Type Mystic Code A. Increase own buster performance for a single turn, 50% up on a cooldown of five. Shining towards the future A, which is after a strengthening, grants self invincibility for one turn, grants off own MP generation rate for three turns, charges own MP gauge, 28% uh, MP rate, and a 50% MP charger at level and uh, cooldown 6 at level 10. Her third skill is Suspicious Medicine A, 70% chance to grant one ally gut status for one time, three turns, 70% chance to grant him a debuff immunity for one time, and then recover their HP, 3000 heal, and cooldown of 6. She has two passive skills, magic resistance being an infinity, infinite mana supply C. Her third skill is an anti-archer attack damage aptitude, and her rank EX Noble Phantasm after the interlude is Quintet Fjord, Multi-Instrumental Saturation Bombardment. Rank EX Buster Noble Phantasm hits four times. Increases own MP generation rate by 20% for 3 turns. Increases own crit star generation rate by 20% for 3 turns. Reduces deals damage to 1 enemy. And then a 500% chance to reduce own attack by 10% for 3 turns. Demerit. And then do that again for your defense. Demerit. Damage is 800% at level 1. If you get all the way to MP5, it's 1200. And then you also increase your bust performance for a single turn. 20%. Um, if you go all the way to the final charge level, it is 100% buster up if you can get her that much. That's a, it's a, a lot of buster for a single turn. And that is Abby. Um, similar to Sangzong, she's a single target caster, so she really only like works in scenarios where you say to yourself, you know it would be really good right now? A single target caster. And that doesn't come up a whole lot, but when it does come up, I do like having a single target caster. I do have Ilya, and she does occasionally see play when it's that specific thing. The problem is, is that she also has to, um, being that she is a single target caster for Buster, she is also fighting against Sangzong. Um, and if you just look at, now when I say she's fighting against Sangzong, they have two completely different kits, but both of them are single target caster that they can be used to punch up the enemy and at that point you have to ask yourself who would i rather use do i want to use Ilya, or do i want to use Sangzong? 
and for the most part for me i do really like song song's kit um it's not for any other reason i actually do legitimately like her kit and i don't like Ilias specifically having to be needing a unit to help get her the last last 30 percent to get activate this and stuff like that so for me i typically end up preferring other single target caster options like even if you even though I think Ilya does do perfectly fine and her damage can be pretty high, I end up just preferring to use other single target type caster units whenever I'm in the mood to use one specifically, like the Queen of Sheba. I'll even sometimes use Medea as well. Um, it's not that I think she's bad, I think it's specifically a thing of like, she doesn't really fit the playstyle I like to play, but if she is up to your playstyle, then I think she'll do perfectly fine for you whenever you need a single target caster, and you'll be perfectly fine. Um, and that is Ilya. And that is the end of this 7th Anniversary Commemorative Limited Servant Daily Pickup Summon. Thank you very much for watching it. Um, Keep holding on strong for it again. If you want to know the end bit here, because I guess I do occasionally do wrap ups, I think both of these units end up being units that you can kind of skip around for the most part. I am interested to see if Abby ever gets better or they ever plan to buff Abby even more. Because um, there is stuff in there like the minus 50% defense, and if I can see someone in theory wanting a single target caster, because I do think that they can come in useful, but I also don't see someone, unless they are just big fans of Ilya and Abby going for it, which again is, I think, the primary... If you are summoning for Ilya and you're summoning for Summer Abby, I assume you just love both units that much, and if that's the case, I wish you the best of luck summoning for them. But that's the end of the video, everyone. Next time, I'm gonna start... It's time to start ramping up, because today's the 15th, and that means that uh, we have to start getting ready for summer on the 17th, because they've already announced, basically, hey, here's a live stream, here's everything. Let's go. And I can't wait. I also do think it's funny that they actually did put in the Shiki buff that um, JP got with the second... <laughs> second strengthening after i said in that video i'm pretty sure she doesn't have it and then they literally released stuff i thought that was funny but anyway we're gonna start ramping up towards summer and getting ready for that so but for now i think i'm just gonna end the video thank you very much for watching as always feel free to leave a like comment subscribe tell me what you're planning if you're feeling the urge to summon i don't know why you would but remember i'm here to say it's cool to fight back the urge <laughs> Till next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace.